Noah, how are you feeling? How's the environment? How have you liked Arizona so far? I mean, I love it out here. I love the West Coast. I love the weather. I love everything about it. I love uh, the fact that we get to, you know, spend a week, another week with my teammates, especially out here in Arizona. I mean, I never really imagined this, so it's a dream come true. You've been a huge part of this yeah, offense for the past yeah, couple of years. Huh? How do you continue to improve so much year in and year out with so much talent around you? Um, just putting your head down and just keep working. I mean, everyone coming in, we, we all push each other every year. I mean, we all push each other to be as best we can be. Like, n no one is ever going to try to, like, hide drills or something from you. We all want to build off each other so we can be the best receiver group or just best team we can ever be. While running in practice, would you say there's one or a couple specific corners that are kind of hard to get off of you? You saying, like, on our team? I mean, I respect all of our corners. We're all, I mean, again, Everyone has their strengths, everyone has their weaknesses. Everyone across the ball on our defense is getting me better each and every day. And whether that might be in my catching, whether I mean my route running, every single one of them has something that can help me get better at. Offense is very high powered. It's averaging over 40 points per game. Does the game plan change at all for such an incredible defense? Or are you guys just going to keep doing I mean, yeah, of course, they're, they're definitely a really uh, gifted team. We definitely know that. They're, they're a good team. They're ranked, like, you know, top 10. We obviously know that. But, I mean, again, we're not going to shy away from that. We're not going to do anything, like, something we haven't done, just come out of our comfort zone. We're going to just stick to our plan and, you know, trust God and just see what happens and play for each other and look at the scoreboard at the end. How has this new coaching staff really helped you grow your game? Helped me grow my game? Um, you know, just a different type of offense. So it's, it was a different, it was it was a different style of learning. You know, I'm used to running like an RPO, like since I've been here, and we added the RPO as, as well as a triple option to it. So if anything, they expanded my knowledge more than anything, and helped me with leveraging and how you're supposed to just the fits. Like just they helped me a lot with my my uh, my run knowledge and even pass knowledge because they added an RPO to a triple option, which I've never seen. All right, I got one fun question for you. All right. Out of all the players in this room. Who would make the best and worst Sparky? Why? The best and worst Sparky? Um, the best and worst Sparky. Who probably uh, probably Trayon would probably be the best Sparky because he can do backflips and he's really athletic. He could jump around, do a bunch of you know, a bunch of things mascots do. And the worst one. I don't know who the worst one would be. I don't want to just single out any names, but it's definitely going to be one of the old linemen or D linemen because, you know, they're a little big. I don't even know if they're going to fit into the suit. And then on top of that, I don't know if they can do all the jumping around, especially he was just doing one-handed push-ups over there. So I know none of them are doing that. So no offense to them, but it's just is what it is.